How much RSR in order to potentially become a crypto millionaire? In today's video, let's find out. But keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor. These are all hypothetical scenarios and absolutely no guarantee that any of it is going to happen. But now that we've got all of those boring stuff out of the way, I think it's also important to note that the current circulating supply is sitting at around 50.6 billion. So just keep in mind that as the circulating supply changes, these calculations may be affected as well. But with that being said, if we take a look at this, right? If our SAR were to go to the price of 10 cents, it would be a 20x from here. And at that point, you would need to own 10 million RSAR in order to become a millionaire, which by the way, as of right now is worth $50,000. And now I get it, right? 50 grand to some people, that's a lot. And I agree, you know, a lot of people out there, they don't have that much even as their entire net worth in some cases, but keep in mind, right? Our SAR at the price of 10 cents, that's still 20x from here. So even if let's say someone doesn't have 50 grand to put in, a 20x in my opinion is still not bad. Now again, that's not financial advice, but if I were to put a grand and let's say our SAR went to the price of 10 cents from right now, 20x, I've made my one grand into 20 grand, which is again, not going to make anyone a millionaire, of course, but 20x is not bad in my opinion. And now I do want to take a look at the next price target for RSR, and that is RSR at the price of 20 cents, which is a 40x from here. And at that point, in order to become a millionaire, you will need to own 5 million RSR, which is worth $25,000 as of right now. And now, do I think that this is realistic for RSR during this bull run? I believe hypothetically so. And the reason for that is because I think RSR plays a very vital role. And to understand just how important RSR is, I think it's first important to note that Reserve as a project is focused on quite essentially stable currency. Now, to some people, they may think, ah, this sounds kind of corny, but here's the thing. Reserve, it actually allows anyone to create a token. And the reason for that is because they're not you know, focused on building a currency themselves. That's not the case whatsoever. And this token, by the way, is a token that is backed one-to-one -one by a collection of other tokens. And it can be done, you know, without writing any code. That's how impressive and revolutionary it is. It's very easy and simple, in my opinion. And this token, by the way, is called an R token. And again, right, what this R token is backed by, it totally depends on the creator. Again, right, it's a collection of other tokens, which they can choose. You know, for instance, we take a look at a very popular R token as of right now. It's called EUSD. Now, we take a look at how EUSD, it's backed by a combination of USDT and USDC. So you get my point, right? You know, an R token, it really depends what it's backed by. But because it's a collection of other tokens, I do believe that it gives, you know, the R token a lot more stability in a sense that if it was only backed by, let's say, a singular token, right? Not much stability there, you know, not many, you know, backup plans, I should say, right? Doesn't really feel all that secure. I mean, just think about this. Let's say you're applying to college and you only apply to one college. That's kind of risky. But if you apply to five, let's say, then you give yourself some leeway, right? If this, let's say, college doesn't want to accept this other one, at least that's the way I take a look at it. So when it comes to an R token, very impressive. And now, when I say all of this, some people, they may be wondering, okay, where does RSR fall into this, right? Where does it play a role? Now, an RSR holder, they can stake their RSR on a R token. You know, they can choose which R token they want to stake it on. It doesn't have to be, for instance, something like EUSD. That's not the case. They can choose. But when they stake their RSR, they do gain yield. And the reason for that is because RSR that is staked does act as collateral. And also, RSR does act as a governance token for the R token that it is being staked on. So again, right? When it comes to RSR, it does play a very vital role. You take a look at how an R token is very revolutionary. Again, right? it can be made without writing any code, which is very crazy if you ask me. And again, when it comes to reserve overall as a project, they're focused on stable currency. That's how revolutionary I think this whole thing is, so to speak. So again, when I consider just how amazing reserve is, when I consider the role that RSR plays, why is RSR at the price of 20 cents? You know, why is that too much to ask for? At least that's the way I view it. And now I do want to take a look at an even bigger milestone for RSR. You know, that's what she said. And that is RSR at the price of 25 cents. And at that point, you will need to own 4 million RSR in order to become a millionaire, which is currently worth $20,000. Now, 
do I think that this is a realistic price target during this bull run? Yes, I do. Because when we take a look at this, right, we will see that there's a very crazy statistic that's probably going to blow your hair back, much like Snoop Dogg's hairline. You know, it's very terrible, by the way. I mean, his cornrows are hanging on for dear life or dreadlocks or whatever. He has to get the, you know, shaver out and shave it. Has to go to the barber shop. Super cuts, if you know what I mean. Or Floyd 99, whatever. But yeah, we take a look at this, right? The global market for digital payment solutions is expected to reach a market valuation of nearly $25 trillion by 2030. I mean, that's crazy, right? And do I think that when it comes to this insane market, could reserve play a role in this? Yes, I do. I think by way of our tokens, because again, right? It quite essentially is very revolutionary. I mean, where else do we really see, right? You know, a project allowing anyone to build a currency that is backed one-to-one by a collection of other tokens and at the same time not having to write any code. I mean, isn't that insane? I think that, if anything, really does play a role in the market of global payments. So when I take this into consideration, why is RSR going to the price of 25 cents all that much? You know, I don't see why it's unrealistic. At least that's the way I view it. And now, I do want to take a look at a gigantic that's what she said, milestone for RSR. God, I, boha. And that is RSR at the price of 32 cents. Now, ideally, I would put this at 35 cents, but if I did, you know, the calculations would just be overly complicated and confuse a lot of people. But yeah, I'd put it at 32 cents just for the purpose of this calculation. But even besides that point, right? Let's say we take into consideration, again, 32 cents. At that point, you would need to own 3.125 million RSR. You know, that's a mouthful. Got I in order to become a millionaire, which as of right now is worth fifteen thousand six hundred twenty-five dollars. And now, this price target may seem crazy, right? Thirty-two cents, but I don't think so because I think that this bull run could be insane. More institutional investors than ever before. Investors that are smarter than ever before as well. They know more about projects. You know, they actually research. You know, compared to back in 2021, where it was just a lot of people just FOMOing for no reason. Like, they didn't even really know what they were investing in. They were just saying, well, wow, this looks cool. Doge, SHIB, okay, let's FOMO into this. But as of right now, we take a look at how a lot of projects out there, they have very strong and passionate communities, much like Reserve. You know, a lot of people believe in it. They actually understand the fundamentals and the role that it plays just globally, right? It's actually trying to solve a real world issue, right? Having a stable currency. It's not like it's just there for the sake of being there. That's not the case whatsoever. Also on top of that, you got to take into consideration how there's more crypto owners than ever before as well, around 575 million. You know, that's over half a billion, of course. But you get my point, right? When you have this many crypto owners, this many institutional investors, this many smart investors as well, I mean, really the bull run, you know, this bull run, of course, you know, the peak of the altcoin season, it could very well look like something out of the storybooks. I think it could dwarf what we saw back in 2021. And also, you got to take into consideration that back in 2021, the amount of crypto owners was actually far less than right now. There was actually around 300 million. Now, again, right, there's nearly double that amount, currently 575 million approximately. So if the 2021 bull run was already that crazy with, you know, not that many investors really knowing what they're investing in and also on top of that with that many less crypto owners i mean could you just imagine what this world could look like with this many new additional crypto owners right i mean really the sky's the limit at least that's the way i view it so when i take that into consideration why is you know rsr at the price of 32 cents all that much to ask for i think not you know i think it's actually a very realistic price target especially when i consider just how crazy this bull run could be and keep in mind right the peak of the altcoin season, it's not going to happen tomorrow because if we take a look at how, historically speaking, altcoins, they do usually rally anywhere, or should I say reach their peak, anywhere between 6 and 18 months after a Bitcoin halving event. So that's either half a year or a year and a half after a Bitcoin halving event. And if we take a look at this, right, if we take a look at coin market cap, the Bitcoin halving event, right, is expected to take place around a day and 23 hours from now. I mean... God, I, you know, that's very close. So again, when we take into consideration either six to 18 months after just, you know, basically nearly two days from now, right? You know, we're taking a look at best case scenario, altcoins reaching their peak in some cases could be October of this year or 
even in some extreme cases, may be October of next year. But if we don't take the most, you know, best case scenario or worst case scenario, let's say we take a look at, you know, middle ground approach. Let's say, you know, let's say 12 months, right? Would 12 months be, you know, all that long? Personally, I don't think so because a lot of people out there, they believed in RSR ever since, you know, 2021. So, you know, we're nearing the finish line pretty much at this point. But again, right, the peak of RSR is not going to happen tomorrow. So when people are impatient, they have to understand that great things take time and patience. And usually this is also not how it works. Yeah, sure. We've seen meme coins reach their peak, but, you know, cryptocurrencies, they reach their peak at their own pace. It's like people running a marathon. It's not like everyone is going to finish at first place, right? Then there would be no first place, if you know what I mean. But again, the key is to at least finish the marathon. At least that's the way I view it. And when it comes to RSR, yeah, sure, it hasn't reached its peak right now. But, you know, I think it's just a matter of time. And also for other altcoins as well. You know, I think patience is key because some people out there, they're impatient. They make irrational moves. They start, you know, dumping all in based on what a guru says. You know, they start day trading because they see some random person pull up a random triangle, you know, trying to draw their grandma's G string and thong, you know, on the screen and saying, wow, you know, bull flag, you got a short, you got a long, you got to use a double 69, 69X leverage. It's like, God, I, it's like, what are they talking about, man? They never focus on the fundamentals of RSR, right? They never take into consideration the role that, you know, reserve could play in the world. They don't take that into consideration. They're just taking a look at a price chart because they don't understand the project. They don't understand what it's all about. But I do. That's why I focus on the fundamentals. And personally speaking, I just dollar cost average. So I just acquire, I hold, and I just wait for the peak at the bull run. That's it. By dollar cost averaging, right? Putting a certain amount every month that I'm not afraid to lose, just incrementally. That way, I am removing all of the anxiety and you know panic that usually comes with investing for most people, right? Because I'm not looking at my portfolio all day concerned because I went all in, you know, I'm not overly concerned what happens to the price in the short term because, you know, I'm trying to day trade or use leverage. That's not the case. You know, I just put aside some and just forget about it. And quite essentially, I just wait for the peak at the bull run. You know, I'm not forgetting about it completely, of course, but I'm just giving it some breathing room for it to truly showcase what it's capable of. Because, you know, let's say it dumps 5%, who cares, right? Like 10%, 20%, then it'll just dollar cost average even more. It's not like I'm panicking and looking at my portfolio all day, like what some people may do. So again, right, the peak of the altcoin season, it's going to take some time in my opinion. You know, it's not going to happen tomorrow or something like that. Historically speaking, at least that's not the case. And again, I'm dollar cost averaging. So again, I really do believe that that is a bulletproof strategy, at least for me, not financial advice, but we've even seen Warren Buffett do it. And he's been doing it for what, over 69 years at this point, worked very well for him. So yeah, again, that's just the way I view it. Furthermore, our star at the price of 32 cents. I don't see why not during the peak of this bull run. At least that's the way I take a look at it. I'm extremely bullish on RSR. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. And also on top of that, make sure to check out this very fantastic video. I think you all would really love it. It's been Lee the Captain. And I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.